Wherever we've lived in the world, we've had a hammock in our yard. When we lived in East Oakland in California, we had a hammock in our backyard. So I think it's, it's fitting that I'm here back in Kingston in a hammock. And I think I like to make those sort of global connections. What's important to me as a geographer, as a writer, as a poet, is to connect things that seem isolated from one place and connect them to the other place. And especially now with the way that the environment is changing and climate change, we have to make these connections or else um, we're not going to be able to survive the way we have in the past. And so I like to use kind of my identity and my poetry and my writing and sort of geography as an art form, as a way to connect things that are not connected normally, but that are definitely interrelated to each other and shape the way we are. Um, and shape why we are the way we are and I like to always ask why and why and why and why and I think if we ask why and why and why continually then we'll learn things about ourselves and about our futures that we don't think of on a normal basis so I feel like hammocks are a good place for thinking since I've been out here home with my mom I've just spent a lot of time thinking about the work that I do in the environmental movement. Had a conversation today with my brother about black geographies in Europe and in the US and what's our connection to Africa and the maroon communities and indigenous people. I've thought about all the little creatures that I see, the lizards and the frog in our bathroom that we don't know how it got there and realize that if we don't take care of this beauty, not tear up our mountains and wash out our beaches and pollute everywhere, that if we truly take care of this place and all of the things that we love about who we are, who we are, and how we get the sustenance that we get, we can preserve. And that's now more crucial than ever because there's no separate survival. So without making those connections, um, there's not much of a future left. So I am really committed to building alternative futures, sustainable futures, futures that in some ways mirror past resistance like maroon communities in some ways that are understanding organizing in a way that we haven't before um, new ways of organizing organizing without hierarchies without colonialism without imperialism but in order to do that we have to understand the environments that we live in the histories of these places and how we connect to them as humans as part of an ecosystem so you know I feel like the hammock is a good place to have all these thoughts and be reflective and I'm lucky that no matter where we are in the world mom always makes sure that we have one